here's a review of the Fancier Studio L bracket and as you may know it doesn't matter if you get it from Fancier Studio or Cowboy Studio or even Adorama it's basically all the same exact same product in particularly this one right here says Adorama even though when I purchased it from Amazon it said Fancier Studio it's all the exact same product so it doesn't matter now let's take a look at the uh, bracket and there it is now the first thing that you're going to notice from this L bracket is the is the strong chemical smell that comes from the the, the handle. Uh, it's a very strong smell. Uh, hopefully that 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 smell will dissipate in the next few days. But it, it is very strong, and once you hold it in your hand, it uh, it tends to stick in your hand for a few hours. Um, besides that, uh, it's a very simple device. It's uh, made out of heavy duty metal uh, in this part of the bracket. As I said, the handle is rubber, it's good quality rubber. And uh, it has the two, the, the two hot shoe, the standard hot shoe mounts in the top. You can see here. And it has those endings in the back. So if you put a uh, speed light in the top it will stop right there so there's only you can only put it in one direction if you put it like this it will stop right there and the same and this one now uh, even though the L bracket itself is a very heavy duty metal right here good quality metal the screw here where you put your camera is very, it, it looks like very cheap plastic material it's definitely not the best material and even though it works good so far uh, it's probably not gonna last very long now this is a quarter inch screw so you can uh, plug in your standard camera with the normal one fourth inch screw and uh, you can also screw the bracket itself in, in this part right here and this move, you can move this to the left or to the right. Now this is um, kind of like a rubberish plastic here, so it will protect your camera once it's mounted. Now you can see some chips in the in the paint of the bracket here and there. You can see it's not really the best kind of paint, but uh, it's not, it's not really a big deal. As long as it doesn't break the, the metal, I think it's fine. This is how it looks with everything installed. Now here I have a Canon T3i and also a Young Nuo Speedlight in the top. Now if you have another Speedlight, you can also put it right here on the second hot shoe mount. I also have the transmitter and receivers. That way I don't have to use a cable to connect them both and it all, it all works very well. As you can see it is very steady, very firm, doesn't shake. As long as you have everything tightened up very well here and here, it should work very well. It's not heavy, it's actually very light and uh, it's very, it, can, it can prove to be very useful when making videos. You can also attach a monopod or a tripod right here in case it becomes a little heavy, even though it isn't. The handle provides a good grip, that way you can have better movements in your video. Overall, I really recommend it to anybody trying to start on videography or photography.